Worship is the posture of your heart toward God, acknowledging Him in everything that you do, honoring Him in everything that you do, on the drive to work or during the school day or when you're hanging out with your friends, choosing to posture your heart in such a way that God is the object of your affection all the time. When I stand up to lead worship, it's not just to step up there and lead worship. It's my own personal expression out of the life that I've walked the week before. It's got to be an overflow, a response. I am a worship leader, but it's not who I am. It's something that I'm called to do. I lead worship. I was involved uh, in worship teams uh, in a supportive role. There was part of me that was really intimidated at the thought of leading worship. It felt like it wasn't something that I could do uh, or do as well as somebody else could. But I led worship and it became apparent to me that there was a unique call on me that did not hinge on anybody else's calling. If you want to be an effective worship leader, it's got to start from the inside out. There are foundational blocks that have to be laid down. You have to have an authentic heart for the Lord and worship leadership has to come out of your own personal intimacy with Him. You've got to have integrity. You've got to have the inside of who you are line up with who you show on the outside. A lot of times we live behind a facade that we think people want to see or that makes us feel okay about ourselves when the inside has holes in it and brokenness in it and closets that are locked and God doesn't have access to all of that. I was one of those worship leaders that was leading effectively to a degree, I appeared to have it all together living behind the projected image of what I thought people wanted to see and there were places in my life that were not fully exposed to the Lord, were not fully lined up. Out of that brokenness and out of the vulnerabilities that I had, I uh, ended up in a situation where I made some really stupid choices and as a result, the, the facade was ripped away and I was left naked and bare. I, I can see that I needed to be broken. I needed to have the facade stripped away. I needed to be left exposed fully so that God could have access to all of those areas. You know, I had some choices to make, whether or not I would cooperate with his hand or if I would just run from him and, and continue to hide those places as best I could. It's not been an easy road, but I chose to cooperate. And I feel like the best thing that ever happened to me was crashing and burning in such a fashion so that God could have access. I realized He was all I wanted when I realized He was all I had and He was enough. like God gave me another chance. He, he loved me enough to not leave me broken, and He gave me another chance. When I have the privilege to stand in front of a group of people and lead them into His presence, I feel like I'm leading the charge. That calling, it demands so much reverence. I am reminded every time I stand on a stage in front of a group of people to lead them in worship just how dependent on God's grace I am. Kathy and I meet uh, every week um, for, uh, I'd say, worship lessons. Uh, she teaches me guitar, but uh, also a lot of uh, worship songs that uh, I was unfamiliar with. I do lead worship in my cell group weekly. My goal would be to lead the group into an experience with God uh, that would be deeper than where we've been before. If I could come up with a byline for Kathy's ministry, uh, I would say it's turning observers into participants. Thank you for the privilege of coming into your presence, God. 
I think the thing that is so important about worship is that it really is our highest calling in life. You know, it's been said that uh, in the church, uh, next to the senior pastor, uh, the worship leader holds uh, the most important position in the church. Um, I'm inclined to believe that maybe it's the other way around, that the worship leader holds the most important position in the church because that's the person uh, that can either usher us directly into the presence of God or keep us standing in the outer courts. Kathy has um, affected my own view of worship, is that uh, she's really helped me to understand that worship is more about God uh, than it is about me. She's way beyond the point of self-promotion. Um, she's not looking for accolades for herself. Um, she really just wants to uh, bring people uh, into the presence of God and give them experience of what true worship is really all about. If I had to describe the sum of me and my heart and my experiences and who I am, it's redemption, it's restoration, it's rebuilding, it's renewing, it's replenishing, it's, it's resurrecting, it's re-everything. Ha, ha, ha.